It's the turn now of the German quadruple skull. Can they overcome the defending champions, Italy, who are drawn in lane four? It's the United States on the far side in one, then the Ukraine in two. Next to them, Germany in lane three with, at stroke, Andre Wilms, the man who won the single skulls championship last year in Indianapolis. Ukraine. Next to them, the Italians with the remarkable Alessio Sartori at stroke, junior world sculling champion last year. Holland are in lane number five. And South America's representatives, Argentina, in lane six, who will be closest to you. Argentina have done very, very well to get to the final here, and they take it off very sharp, very quick. But Italy have gone straight into the lead, and Sartori is extraordinary. Last year, winner of the single Skulls title at junior level, he went straight into the stroke seat of the heavyweight senior quad and won a gold medal in that as well. And here he is back again with this exceptional quad. But it's Argentina who've flown out of the blocks, really moved away fast, fast, fast off the start here, Really quick reactions off the start, but here are the Italian quad just showing this remarkable strength of the Italian team. That's Artori at stroke, very tall guy with very good leg drive, and there they are. They've taken over the lead from Argentina, and they're moving very well. Ukraine moving well as well, they're in second place. Germany just about third with Argentina close as well then the Dutch and the Americans but it's all very tight and close at the moment Ukraine have a nice movement they're very quick through very powerful through and then they let their boat run between the strokes they're very nice scholars the, uh, the, the, the the Ukraine crew here's Germany Wilms who remember that extraordinary finish in the single last year where he rated 40 for the last 800 meters well here he is again in the stroke seat of the German boat, but it's the world champions Italy who head the field. Italy being challenged by Germany. Germany who won this title in 93 and 92. So great rivalry between those two crews. Very tight here. You've got Argentina very close up. You've got Ukraine very close up. You've got Italy sitting out there, very mature stroke for a 19-year-old. Remember, he's only 19 years old. Taking a quick look around, making sure that everything's there. Great, great sense of racing and sense of rhythm sitting there in the stroke seat. The Dutch still just about in fifth place. And here are Argentina. Useful experience in their boat in the shape and form of the man in the two-seat, Sergio Fernandez, who, if you look back through the record books, you'll find that he was seventh in 1990 in the single skulls and eighth a year later. And his experience at this level will be really helpful to that crew. Germany are coming now in uh, lane number four, but Ukraine just beyond them are the crew sitting second to the world champions at the moment. The world champions turning on the power. Watch those legs driving down together. They're sitting there looking very cool, high rating, 38 strokes a minute, with Argentina closest to us, putting them under pressure, along with Germany and the Ukraine. And the Ukraine, one from the top of the picture, now perhaps beginning to find this pressure a little bit too much, just slipping back, but the Italians look oh so smooth. Oh, so smooth, but under pressure too. Under pressure from a very powerful German quad who are looking for Germany's second gold medal. Pushing very, very hard here. But the world champions, un unflustered, difficult water, wind coming from the side, difficult conditions, but very, very cool under pressure. And again, displaying this technique that is common throughout the Italian squad, hanging back off the skulls, pushing with the legs, and then unfolding at the finish. And Argentina, there's the bow of their boat in lane six, still right there, right on the premises, and in contention for a medal. Germany in second place. That's the Ukraine on the far side in lane number two. 
You see Wilms just in the corner of the picture there, the skull's up in the air, he's doing what he did in the single last year, driving for the line up to 40, but it's Argentina pushing hard, Argentina pushing with big finishes there at the end of the stroke, credit for Ibarra, Ricardo Ibarra, the Argentine coach, who's really brought Argentina on here for this, these World Championships. Quick look there from the Italian bowman, and they're opening up a lead again, then we're getting to move away again from Germany, very, very mature rowing here, very skilled. Germany putting them under pressure as they come into the last 500 metres. So the order is still the same. Italy, Germany, Argentina, Ukraine, Holland and the United States seemingly out of contention now for the medals. And Italy looking for clear water and moving away from Germany, who seemingly can't do anything else at the moment. The Argentinians are still hanging on ahead of the Ukraine, although there's not a great deal between those two crews. Italy now with four gold medals already on the table here, looking for a fifth gold medal in the Italian team. And they're opening up this lead. No one's going to catch the world champions now. They're striding away. Germany trying to close the gap. Germany holding off Argentina, but it's Italy all the way. Italy stretching out, Italy with all that length and that drive, and it's Italy into the last 250 metres. But it's Germany now ahead of both Argentina and Ukraine, and that's where the real interest is now in terms of fighting for the medals. The Italians look clear, they look positive, and on their way, as you say, to yet another medal success. Looking strong, flowing nicely, the Germans trying to get back on terms with them, but I think there's too much to do in the time that there is left. And Argentina still just out of your picture, really being challenged now by the Ukraine. There's very little Argentina, they're just out of the picture. Ukraine coming strong, there's very little between those two crews. It's Italy ahead of Germany, and Ukraine and Argentina are neck and neck as they come towards the line. And it's Germany second, oh, and... Well, Argentina or Ukraine, that's one for the judge. Very, very close, quite extraordinary. And Germany were closing on Italy. Fine judge race there by Italy. Germany just missing the, uh, the gold, and it's uh, still too close to call between uh, Ukraine and Argentina for the third position. What a great race, what a great finish. Well, a deserved victory there for the Italians. They retain their title. Now we'll get a chance to look at just how close for the bronze. There's the German challenge. And Argentina deny the Ukraine. And they take the bronze medal, which is a marvellous moment for them because it must be at least 20 years, Dan, since Argentina last got a medal at the World Championships. Yes, it's a great, great uh, finish for them. But really, this is the man of the race. Stroke man Sartori, 19 years old. What an athlete, what an athlete. Huge man, great leg drive, and what a leader, what a racing intelligence. So yet more rejoicing and more celebrations, no doubt, later on in the Italian camp. And these must be favourites, really, for the Olympic Games next year. Italy world champions in five events, three of them Olympic events. Massimo Paradiso, Alessandro Corona, Lozano Galtarossa and Alessio Sartori. Two senior world and one junior world medal in the space of just over 12 months. Germany, who stuck to their task pretty well. Experienced men, but really a new formation. Only Andreas Hajek surviving this year from last year's quartet. And the man on the left of your screen, Andre Wilms, who was in the quad in 92 and in 93 when they were successful, back in the boat this year, having won the single skulls title last year, having a silver medal after three successive years of wearing a gold. And now four very happy men hung on by their fingernails to keep the bronze medal. Santiago Fernandez and Sergio Fernandez, Ruben Knust and Guillermo Fab didn't have any petrol left in the tank. But that doesn't matter now, they're on the podium.
Great job for Argentina and South American rowing.